Welcome to the Power Blog site, June 5th, 2013. Breaking news, there are indications of either a hidden large-scale H7N9 outbreak ongoing or an imminent large-scale outbreak of the H7N9 bird flu virus. Uh, we base this on a solicitation that was released today from the uh, Centers of Disease Control for 300,000 plus H7N9 treatment assays that are needed immediately. I guess they're needed immediately enough that the CDC didn't even have to spell immediately properly for the H7N9 outbreak. And we'll show you that uh, solicitation in a second, but uh, here's a quote from it. Zoom in just right. All right, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention intends to award a sole source firm fixed price purchase order to Life Technologies Corporation for 335 influenza reagent kits. No other vendor provides this kit needed immediately for the H7N9 outbreak and continuing surveillance work. Well, each one of these 335 kits has the capability of testing 960 assays or viruses. Here's the uh, web page for the kit. And if you look right over here, let it focus, 960 assays. So that's a third of a million viral tests that they're, that they're wanting to do. And this is active viruses. You know, here's the solicitation that came out today from the CDC. And you can find this on fedbizops.gov. And again, the, the aspect of this is that it's a no other vendor provides this kit needed immediately for the H7N9 outbreak. Now, whenever I put something out with bad grammar and misspelling, it's because I'm trying to do it in a rush. So that may be indicative of something right there. But this is, this is extremely concerning. Now, at the same time, there is also a meeting of the uh, National Vaccine Advisory Committee that is going to go on on June 11th, and it's actually a, a public meeting. I'm going to show you the draft for this, for this meeting, and let me zoom in on this. We'll show you how serious this is, what's going on. Uh, here's the avian influenza vaccine meeting. Uh, avian Influenza, an Epidemiological Update by Dr. Nancy Cox of the CDC. She is the Director of the Influenza Division at the Centers of Disease Control. And following her is uh, Dr. Robin Robinson from BARDA. His topic is Research and Development of Influenza A H7N9 Vaccine. Now Dr. Robinson from BARDA, he is the Director of BARDA. And BARDA is in essence, is sort of the bio-warfare version of uh, DARPA. You can look up DARPA and BARDA and understand what they're doing. So, well, what does this mean? Just a public meeting. Well, uh, Dr. Nancy Cox just held a vaccine dinner club meeting on May 9th, 2013, a special seminar. And this special seminar was sponsored by the Center for Public Health Preparedness and Research. And look at this part here also known as Disasters Are Us and the Vaccine Dinner Club. And here's what they say. They are teaming up to give our members and their guests a special behind the scenes real-time look at an emerging public health threat. And here's a grill kicker. Coming soon to a continent near you. The title is, Why Did the Chicken Cross the Road? Examining the H7N9 Bird Flu Pandemic. Sorry, Epidemic in China. Now look who's moderated this uh, talk. Dr. Nancy Cox, Influenza Division, CDC. So, this little line here, Disasters Are Us, the Vaccine Dinner Club, looking at an emerging public health threat coming soon to a near continent to you. That should give you a little bit of behind-the-scenes insight of what the heck's all going on here. Now, at the end of this, 
or if you have not been watching our webpage and, and the updates we've been giving on this, as it stands now, the government is spending in excess of a billion dollars directed at H7 N9 countermeasures. And several hundreds of millions of dollars is being poured into the Vaccine Injury Trust Fund. They've ordered over 512 million syringes for a reported large-scale vaccine vaccination effort that the CDC is going to do, specifically against H7N9. That's enough for two shots for every person in the country. Uh, this vaccine is uh, experimental, and it's loaded with adjuvants that have never been before used in the United States in any sort of flu vaccine of any sort. In Europe, they've been tied to the development of narcolepsy. So even if there is no bird flu coming out of this, and there's a chance there is no bird flu epidemic coming out of this, we think there's actually a pretty good chance that there's no bird flu epidemic coming out of this. But the possibility exists that it's there, massive and real. And what's behind this is the near 100% death rate from people untreated for H7N9 bird flu. The fact that it's, it, the flu itself does not cause illness in the birds. So far, few of the birds that have been tested have had the virus. So a very few birds with the virus have caused a large outbreak in China. Outbreaks nearly 100% deadly without treatment. The birds don't get sick. Uh, animal models and ferrets have shown that the virus uh, is airborne. So there's some significant risk to this. Now it just may peter out and go to nothing. But if it does, we're still under significant risk from what the, the CDC has planned for, for this virus. So no matter how you look at it, it's concerning. Now we've taken some low cost, cost effective uh, preparations. Uh, we list them on our website and what I suggest is as you look at our website because we've been covering this for the last several weeks and uh, you know, one of the preparations is uh, chlorhexidine gluconate. We've talked about that a lot in the past so we're not going to talk about it as much uh, but we'll show you another preparation here and that is P100, let me zoom in here, I get this better on the screen. P100 or surgical N95 masks. And you see these here on uh, links on our webpage from Amazon. Uh, this is a P100 mask with an exhale valve. The rest of these are surgical N95 masks. Now these numbers are important. Uh, P100 is uh, really what you're looking for. Uh, so 100% filtration of particles down to a certain size. Uh, the P number preceding it indicates that it's oil and water resistant. So most of these virus particles are going to be trapped if they're airborne in uh, mucus and water spray from uh, sneezes and coughs. So you need a mask that has some sort of resistance to that. So if you're not sick, the P100 mask is the way to go. Uh, if you are sick, this exhale valve on here, and while it makes it easier for the person wearing it to breathe, this mask will not protect other people around you from you. Now these N95 surgical masks, uh, they don't filter as well, but they have a surgical designation, which means is that they will also protect you from water droplets, etc. And so we show these links on Amazon. I'm not sure if Amazon is the best place to buy these things, but uh, when the rush starts and the government the government starts promoting this in the media, which will happen. Uh, these things will be sold out everywhere. Uh, the next thing, chlorhexidine gluconate. It's a scrub which forms an invisible barrier on your skin and it kills influenza and bacteria for hours after washing with it. Brand name Hippocleanse. Uh, we've talked about this many, many times since we started covering this. Uh, Amazon does appear to be the very best place to buy this. So, Trouble is ahead, no matter how you look at it. 
We suspect that as a condition of attending school, your children are going to be forced to take an experimental H7N9 vaccine with adjuvants that have been known to cause uh, serious side effects. All you can do is prepare and pray and hope nothing comes out of it either way.